Yo, what's going on? Hopefully you all had a good day today. Uh, my day was pretty wishy-washy. Uh, <laughs> a few baseball picks didn't go my way. And then um, I ended up jumping on Derek White. And uh, he went out there and got zero points for me. But it is what it is. Um, like, subscribe if you hit the uh, notification. I mean, if you like the video. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload and you ain't got to worry about it. Um, the playoffs and baseball is very volatile. Uh, you gotta watch. You gotta watch yourself out here in these streets. Take care of your bankroll. Don't force anything. You know, usually with me, it, it just it jumps out at me. It jumps out at me, man. Like you know, if it ain't, it ain't. Uh, I mean, if it don't look right to me, I just don't. Uh, it don't go. It don't, it don't go right. I mean, I, I ain't fucking with it right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it is what it is. All right. Um, but I ain't gonna hold you all. Hold you, hold you all up because I want to talk a little bit of basketball too. Okay. So um, right off the bat, run off these leans. Um, it's it's late late right now. Um, I need to start doing it like this every night so I can uh, get out of here. And uh, so uh, yeah, so. Right off the back, like I say, Arizona at uh, Miami here. Uh, Miami and Arizona. I, I said after today, I'm just going to stay away from this fucking Arizona team. I bet on them. They lose. I take the under. They go over. I take Miami. They catch an L. Good pitching matchup. I just don't understand. But it's going to be lot, a lot of this. A lot, like, a lot of this all year long, man. So, you know, just be prepared. But we got Bumgarner and Hernandez on the mound, seven and a half over under in this one, and Miami is the favorite here. Um, man, you know, Matt Bum, he been pitching pretty well, man. Minus the, minus the K's, I mean, he been managing the games very well. Fifteen K's, twenty three in his pitch. I mean, you know, uh, Miami they hasn't been great versus the lefties, man. And then uh, Hernandez, you know, he's he be getting up the long ball, you know what I'm saying? I can get it, I'll get a pitching edge towards Arizona in this one, man. I ain't gonna lie. I can't talk you off either way. I mean, I, I you know, I can't match you, be mad at you for going either way. But I'm probably gonna end up leaning. I mean, if I was to bet on this one, it's no no official. I probably don't bet, but I might, you know, if I do, I'm it's gonna be Arizona or nothing for me. It just 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 get it as a try, I guess. It is what it is, you know, at this point. Uh St. Louis at uh um, 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 Kansas City Royals here, seven and a half over under, man. And I, I was, um, I was iffy yesterday. I, I wanted to go with Kansas City. I know y'all probably heard it in my voice. I didn't go with them though, man. And I'm pretty, pretty iffy on this one too, man. You know, um, uh, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, very small lean to St. St. Louis, man. Bats, uh, but you know the pitching, you know. I mean, you know, they they pretty good against lefties, you know. So, uh, Bubik, you know, he might kill, have a chance to be in a little pr trouble here. But no, no, no play, no play. I don't know how I fully want to attack this game. You know what I'm saying? It's late. I got to get used to doing videos at this time. I've been dig dig a little deeper, you know. But uh, no play, no play for me in that one. I ain't even gonna lie. I just got, I can't just throw shit out there. All right, uh, Seattle uh, at, 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 at Houston here. We got seven and a half over under in this one. Um, Houston Astros, the favorites here. We got Ver, Verline on the mound and Brash on the mound. And, uh, you know, right off the bat, you know, Verline has been looking great, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, I rarely jump on uh, uh, Seattle on the road, and especially not in this spot, man. Uh, you know, it, it'll have to be Houston or nothing for me in this one. You know, money line, run line, or whatever the case may be. But uh, money line, parlay, something like that. Yeah, I might find some value. So that's that's what it's going to be for me. Um, moving along, Tampa Bay Rays at o Oakland Athletics here. Uh, we got a seven over under in this one. And uh, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, they are the favorites here. Ooh, excuse me. And, uh, you know, A's, man, they ain't been good versus righties like that, you know. Um, it's probably going to be a stay away from me, for me, for me. 
you know, I need to stop putting my, you know, jumping off in that mud. And pretty soon I'm going to have some, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to come out here and drop, drop my officials pretty soon. Maybe by next week. I looked at the calendar. I see some, uh, the weather is changing. So, you know, that's going to play a part in some of these games too, man. You know, when you start, when I, when I finally want to give out some officials, then boom, here come the weather. And then boom, these teams start acting a whole lot, of, whole whole lot different then the ball start flying a whole lot different di directions but either way it goes man um i can't talk you off either one of these here you know if i had to just had to pick one i would probably go under in tampa bay or whatever the case may be something like that but uh no play for me in this one man man excuse me i got the hiccups and everything texas rages at philadelphia okay um will and perez on the mound Eight and a half over one in this one, man. Uh, Philadelphia favorites here. Um, did I have anything written up for this one? I don't even think I had something written up for this one, man. Sure didn't. Um, but I know one thing I do know is Perez. He's been okay so far. You know, Phillies. You know, you know, Phillies can really get at lefties. I know that much. And then Willa. I mean, man. You know what I'm saying? He's been okay. I guess. I mean, you know, he's got. You know. But I do, you know, looking for uh, – I, I, I do like Philly in this one. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, I get an edge to Philly bats in this one. Um, wouldn't be – I'm thinking about that run line, but, you know, uh, money line parlays, yeah, I probably would have to take a stab at them on the run line uh, uh, for them to get a little revenge back today because uh, I took them today and they and they, and they, and they failed. Yep. But either way it goes, it's uh, – yeah, it, it's Philadelphia nothing for me in that one. Um, Minnesota Twins, uh, they rolling out Bundy and Baltimore Orioles rolling out Bradish here. Um, seven and a half over under here. Um, Minnesota are our, our, our favorites now, you know, but, uh, you know, um, uh this is probably what is this Bradish? Was this his second outing of some? I don't think he looked too good in his first outing, but you know, in training or whatever, he, he was looking okay. Um, I can't give him that. Um, this could be a, a a letdown spot for Minnesota. I mean, I've been riding the shit out of Minnesota for a while, and uh, they rolling out Bundy right now. I just don't want to back him. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to fall into this this spot right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Probably going to be a stay away from me or, you know, I know Minnesota's the better team, but, you know, teams, they just got to lose sometimes, man. You know, uh, I can't talk to you off Minnesota, man. You know, I probably won't be, I probably won't, it might, you know, I might, I might, I might not even bet on this game here, to tell you the truth, man. Um, I just don't feel Bundy like that, man. You know, so I can't, I, even if you go with uh, Baltimore, I can't talk you off of it. New York Yankees at um, uh, uh, Toronto Blue Jays. We had an over under eight here. New York Yankees are the favorites, and they've been on fire. Oh, man. So, with that being said, uh, Cortez, um, I was all, all over him last game, man. You know, uh, he didn't, he, you know, he didn't do, he didn't do too, too well for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that was last week or something like that. I forgot who they were playing. I was all over Cortez, though, man. Um, and then Kikuchi, on the other hand, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, I can't tell you off either one of these teams if you want to get to them, you know. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, I can look towards the over in this one, man. I think I can look towards the over in this one. So I'll probably lean towards the over. Maybe I haven't checked the first five over. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I'll lean towards the over in this one. Uh, maybe a first five over, maybe, because I know the bullpens, the both sides of these teams are okay, but I might look at the over in this one. Look at some bats, you know. Uh, Chicago White Sox at Chicago at the Cubs. Yeah, uh, both of my home team town uh, 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 teams going against each other. Subway Classics, whatever you want to call it. Um uh, There's no numbers right here. Uh, White Sox are the favorites, and then we got uh you know Giolito on the mound. Uh, White Sox they probably I think they lost every game he started, and then Hendricks he's been you know a little bit you know he's been good at home on the road. He's been trash, you know what I'm saying. Um, 
you guys got any picks on the ones, you know, on any games, let me know, man. Um, I ain't even going to lie. I mean, you know, Cubs my favorite team, so I don't want to be on no homer shit, but when, especially when it comes to the Sox, I, I, I don't like the Sox. I'm from Chicago. I'm not a Sox fan. I'm trying to make myself a Sox fan, but that's neither here or there. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not a Giolito fan either. So, you know, um, you know, the smallest of leans towards Chicago Cubs, and that's for me, you know, uh, the smallest of leans. I uh, can't talk you off with either one of them. You know, it is what it is. I'm really, 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 really iffy on this one. Um, Washington Nationals at Colorado Rockies here. Um, let me see what we got here. Um, let me see something. Yeah, so oh, you know what? They don't have the they don't have those double headers on here. We got a couple of double headers, but let me get to this right here. We got Corbin going up against Gomber here. Uh, ten and a half over under in this one. And uh uh Colorado Colorado Rockies, they're they're the favorites, man, rightfully so. Um, not a big fan of Corbin, man. He's, you know, and then you got Colorado, Colorado, man. I think you know they're pretty good versus left lefties, man. You know, um, and Corbin on the other hand, he's been giving up base runners, man. You know, and uh, you know, I, I, you know, he's still been getting K's, but still, I mean, man. But you know, the back, the Rockies, the bats are a little different at home, you know. Uh, so. You know, I, I I think they you know one of the top teams against lefties in the league, man. So I think I'm gonna have to lean towards the Rockies in this one, man. You know, I think I'm gonna have to lean towards the Rockies in this one. Yeah, I think so. Um, now it's a few team games up here. I don't see. Let me see something. Now. I don't see the Dodgers game, which uh, I wanted to you know I wanted to uh, look a little bit more into that Dodgers game. But I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm going to lean towards the Dodgers. But I don't know uh, if I'm going to lean towards the money line or the run line in that one, okay? So there's the Dodgers game right there. Uh, Gonsolin and Alex Wood, they be rolling out. And then uh, what game? Because we got two double headers. And then I didn't see the Boston game up there either. So um, I don't I – don't, I don't, you know, I don't have a play in this one. I didn't know who the pitchers was. They got Shuri Tani up there and Whitlock up there. It's just going to have to be a tomorrow thing for me so I can really, really, really know. And then what other teams did they have up here? Um, okay, yeah. So, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so, yeah, Atlanta and um, New York Mets, they have a uh, – Double double header this game today, and uh, yeah, so that's what it was. They don't have that game on the books right now, so it's a double header here. Uh, no, you know what? No, that's not a double header. But did did they have this book on this game up there? Or because did I just go past it? No, see that game is not even up there. So either way you go, uh, it's not up there. Um, you know, uh, 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 Miguel, a uh, pitching, and who the fuck else was pitching in this one? Oh, not points, but I said pitching. Okay, and then Ian answered right. So, um, yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, Miguel, he's been pitching well, man. I mean, you know, hey, twenty-seven Ks, twenty-eight in his pitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on the other hand, uh. Anderson hasn't been good. You know, he's been having some control issues, man. So, you know, I'm going to lean towards uh, I'm gonna lean towards the Mets in this one, man. You know, I'm going to lean towards the Mets one in this one. Uh, not not Nothing spectacular, but I'll, I'll, I'll lean towards the, the Mets in this one, yeah. And then we had the Pittsburgh game. Where is that? Well, since the Cincinnati's game, I mean, San Diego and Cleveland, that game is right here. And actually, it's the same thing, like I said yesterday, man. You know, they rolling out. Uh, see, I got to see what the hell. Okay, this is game one. What about game two? What about game two? What about game two? San Diego at Cleveland. Where's the other one? 
San Diego, Cleveland. Either way it go, um, I th so I got to look into this one here because I thought it was going to be rolling out Clevenger. So I'll have to see, man. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. So I'm going to have to temper my expectations on this one. So I got to go back to the lab. And then um, Pittsburgh and Detroit, yeah, they have a doubleheader today too. Okay, so you got Quintana on the mound and Pinelli on the mound. Uh, oh, there's the other game right there. Trace Thompson, uh, the Cleveland game, Trace Thompson. See, I didn't even look into that game, so I can't even give you guys nothing on that. But, yeah, Pittsburgh and Detroit, uh, that's the second game there. And this is another game I just, you know, uh, mm -mm. I probably just end up fading it, man. No play for me. Maybe the Pirates. Maybe it lean towards the um, Quintana and the Pirates in this one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I don't know. I, I, I'm, 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 I don't know, man. They got it all fucked up. Maybe, you know, that's probably how it is at night, though. I, 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 I. I I usually do my video in the morning, man, but it is what it is. Um, let's move over to a little basketball, man. I got a few things I want to point out here. All right, so we got a Philadelphia 76ers. Man, and today at basketball, boy, 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 boy. There's some shit that happened today, man. <laughs> and between Gary Payton getting hurt and, uh, you know, ejections again, Dylan Brooks, and then, man, blowouts and, man. Derek White's and shit. I mean, god damn. Either way it goes, Philadelphia 76ers at Miami Heat. We got 207 and a half over under in this one. Okay. Uh <sighs> okay. Uh a few guys didn't hit the three ball, you know, well last game. And um you can probably see a little bit better uh album from beyond the art here. All right. Guys like Vincent and Struss, uh, you know. I think I might want to be on stress in this situation here, man. I mean, stress. He, a lot of people like Vincent, man. The stress is my guy. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Um, but let's say Vincent on the other hand, you know, he's hit one three in back to back games. So you know, just you know, he 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 ain't been looking that good. Uh, and I think how many threes did he take last game? He took seven threes last game. Um, Struss, I mean, he took seven threes last game, man. These are two guys, Gabe Vincent and Struss, these are two guys that can really go out there and light it up. Really can. They really can. So, uh, just keep an eye out on those guys here, all right? Uh, defense, all right? I want to talk about Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, um, you know, his two steals are still juiced up. Well, not juiced up, but you get it at minus 125. Here's a guy, especially since the playoffs that started, um, he's had a few steals. Uh, he's had uh, two steals. Shit. He's had uh, two steals. Let me see. Since, the, since game two of versus Atlanta, he's had, first of all, he's averaging 1.7 steals, almost two steals a game anyway. And then, you know, like I said, since the second game of the Atlanta series, I'll just put it like this. Um. One, two, three, six out of his last seven games, he's had uh, two steals or better. And one of those games, he had three. One of them, he had four. So, uh, playoff Jimmy has been activated defensively. Uh, just something I want to point out right there. Uh, Bad amount of bios, a decent uh, 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 steal, uh, steal, uh, uh, steal candidate here. James Harden is, is two, all right? Um. Last but not least, let's talk about Tobias Harris. Before we get out of here, uh, we know he's been rebounding the ball very well. And then, you know, the points, all right? So his last 15 games, uh, he's taken 18 shots or better twice. And uh, this is, last game was one of them, all right? The other game, he took 19 shots. So you take 18 shots, I think you're going to get, and if somebody like Tobias Harris, I think he's going to get, uh, 20 points, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, that, that point prop probably in jeopardy in the, af in the absence of, uh, um, in the absence of, uh, Joel Embiid, okay? So, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he had 27 points on 18 shots, you know? Uh, uses equals opportunity, and, um, 
it's a possibility I might go back to the well, man, or even alter it down or whatever the case may be. You know, it's a lot of alternate plays. If y'all been work, rocking with me for the whole, um, you know, for the whole uh, season, y'all know how, how I would do my alternates, okay? So, uh, yeah, I haven't looked into the game as a whole right now, but those are a couple of plays, players or plays and stuff that I want to, you know, point out to you guys there. Uh, I'm going to move, move on over to the uh, next game here where we have – Dallas Mavericks at um, Phoenix Suns here, uh, two sixteen and a half over under in this one. I really gotta meditate on that, on that, on that, on that, on that um, total. All right. Either way it goes, uh, I you know the three the three ball is always in play. I love the three ball. A lot of guys love them. You know I love the three ball. I like running out them two threes. You know what I'm saying? I like running out them two three parlays, like two two twos and shit like that. Uh, I know you can get like a, uh, I mean, man, it, you know, like I said, if you've been rocking with me, then you know how I do things, man. You know, one, three, you know, you know, I mean, uh, uh, um, you know, three minus three hundreds, whatever the case may be, you come out to plus money. Like you can get a, a three from Chris, for example, three from Chris Paul, uh, 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 a three from Brunson and a three from, um, Bridges. And, you know, you can get that at plus one fifteen. You know, most of the time I just come on here looking for numbers. You guys already know that. Uh, the user, you know, I could take down something like a Chris Paul. Take down something like a uh, uh, the uh, 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 um, whoever the guy, whatever his name was, Brunson. And then, like I say, I could probably still live leave uh, Bridges up there. Uh, that minus three sixty. Then I can come over to uh, the two three category. Then where I don't mind getting to uh, Reggie Bullock for two threes. Uh, Dorian Finney Smith for two threes. Okay, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Uh, plus one thirty three. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make that official. I'm about to lock that in. One three, two threes, two threes. All right. Now, uh, you know it's a three point shooting league. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's why I had to bring. You know, I, you know, I got some new viewers. So you know, any three minus four hundred or minus three hundred gonna get you the plus money. Okay, three hundred, three hundred, three hundred. All right. I don't care what, how you look at it. So uh, that's a, one of the ways I like to hustle. You know what I'm saying? My people already know this. So um, while we're talking about threes, but yeah, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, yeah. Uh, he's hit two threes or better in 14 of his last 15 games, okay? Um, uh, um, um, Bullock, he's a three, three and D guy. Uh, you know what he does, all right? Two threes are better in um, 13 of his last 15 games. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. And then don't even talk about Luca. you know. Uh, you can put him up there for three threes as well. I mean, for three threes, you know. And then, you know, you'll have a plus, 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 plus 200 right there. But, you know, it ain't, it ain't what you do. It's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of ways to skin the cat here, all right? Last but not least, I want to talk about uh, player combos, okay? Uh, minutes equals opportunities. These PIRAs, points and assists, points and rebounds, whatever you want to say. However you want to say it, all right? So, uh, it's a few guys on here I, I really need to, you know, talk about here. You, you, you got you got Reggie Bullock, okay? Let's talk about Reggie Bullock first and foremost. Uh, and since the playoffs started, um, he's played 40 minutes, 44 minutes or better in every game except for two in the playoffs, all right? So let's get that out the way. All right, forty-four minutes. That means equals uh, minutes equals opportunity. All right, so uh, you can look at his points and rebounds. You know what I'm saying. And later on, you they, they you can alter these points and rebounds as well. So you can look at Reggie Bullock. His points and rebounds is going to be coming out at thirteen and a half. Okay. So uh, let me see. Points and rebounds. Okay, he finished this on the hook last game. Previous game for that, he had 12. Then he had 16, 18, 18, 15, 21, okay? 21. That was the start. That was, that was That's for the whole playoffs right there. Okay, so he's hit that number. Um, How many games they played? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight games in the playoffs so far? I guess. Yeah. So he's hit that number. I think six out of the last eight or some shit like that. But either way it go. 
that's that's you know uh, uh, minutes equal opportunity. It's gonna be out there. All right, it's gonna be out there. In one of these games, he's gonna hit five motherfucking threes. Okay. All right. The same thing we're doing with Finney Smith. His his line is sitting at seventeen and a half uh, points and rebounds. Right. Don't quote me on that. And I think you can go as far as PRAs with him uh, during Finney Smith. Yeah, because he he can go out there and get you some assists. So first and foremost, his points and uh, 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 rebounds sitting at eighteen. All right. He's hit this one, two, three. Four out of five, five out of six, seven, eight. It looks like eight out of his ten games. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, seven. No, that's seven out of nine or eight out of nine. One or the other. I'm, I'm, I can't really see that good right now. But either way it go, y'all get the drift, all right? What's his PRAs while we at it? Points, rebounds, and assists. Points, rebounds, and assists. 19 and a half. All right. His assist numbers. He didn't have assists last game and uh, previous games. So, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. So, like I said, uh, this is this is game two. This is game two now. Uh, you know, it's a different matchup. Like, he, he hit he, points and rebounds. He hit 21 last game. and uh, But he didn't have any assists, you know. Uh, uh, but like I said, minutes are opportunities uh, equals opportunities. Okay, he's played uh, forty minutes in uh, eight straight games: um, 44, 42, 47, 40, 41, 46, 40. Uh, it just it just is what it is. Uh, let me take a look at his rebounds and assists. Maybe we might be able to steal some here. Six and a half, six and a half for his rebounds and assists. Okay, so he's hit that. Six and a half for his rebounds and assists. He's hit that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six straight games. Well, last game he finished on the hook. That's another one that you could probably uh, uh, jump on. And like I said, you know, they, they can alter, you can alter it as well. All right, so uh, rebounds and assists, points, rebounds, assists, and then, yeah, uh, points and rebounds. So keep an eye on that situation, man. Uh, and it's a lot of other players I didn't go off into. I know this video is pretty long, but peace, guys. Peace out.